forgot to save it. I forgot to save it. Oh, no. Her, we were waiting, waiting on you. Okay. Oh, you're, we're already live. Let me turn it around. Hang on a minute. I forgot to save it. It's me. Okay, I'm, we're, at, we're out at the mall. I have... I'm going to prop it up against my purse, maybe. Yeah, I'll prop it right like that, maybe. I was doing my doing my title. Oh, my heavens. I've got... I've got some news. I, I mean, I've got something. I had an encounter with. I was going to name the scope an encounter with the prophet, but I, I didn't even get a chance to title it. I don't think. Watch the data, dear. Don't have to worry about the data no more. We have unlimited. Jackie joined. Well, pray, praise the Lord, Jackie. Oh my heavens! I, I I didn't even get a chance to even title my video my scope. I just jumped on there. I had an encounter with the prophet. With the prophet. His name is uh, Elijah Jones the third. He's the founder, pastor, general, overseer of the Resurrection International Ministries. Yes. And when he started talking to us, we were on the bench, and we started talking. he started talking to us. Something just told me he was a minister. And I said, are you a minister? He said, how did you know, ma'am? I said, because the Holy Spirit just witnessed to me that you're a minister. He said, well, actually, I'm a prophet. I said, oh, my, oh, my. Here's his, here's his card. That's his card, if you can see it. That's his card. Can you see it? Elijah, Prophet Elijah Jones the third. Wow, God bless you. God bless you, everybody that joined. But I had to get on here for a few minutes. And his, his church is at 20th and Moultrie. And I think, Joycey dear, I think that is where my dad's where it all started with my dad when he received, when he got saved and he received the baptism in the Holy Spirit, 20th and Moultrie. I think that's where the church was and he's invited me to come to church. I told him I was a pastor and he said, praise the Lord. And we were talking about the end times, talking about all of it. Yes, Jackie. I felt the Holy Spirit all over me when, when we were talking. Just a very, very sweet, good, uh, oh my. And anybody that, that joins my replay. God bless you all. But I'm Pastor Gloria, but I had to jump on here even without a title. I had to jump on here. Oh my heavens. He said he he said he was stopping at the mall to use the restroom. And he was headed to McDonald's. You got to find out. Yes, yes, Jackie. And he was going to head to McDonald's to grab a quick bite to eat. And he said, there's a reason why the Lord sent me there. I said, yes, there is. And, I, and me knowing right away that he, he was a minister, not knowing that he was, that he was a prophet. It's not, it's not about titles. No, it's not about titles. But my, 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 a prophet. Yes, yes. He was adopted by a, um, a white, he, he's a black man, of course. Well, you saw by the picture. He was adopted by a white family. And I think I know, um, I'm just thinking he gave me the name. Maybe not, but anyway, he's got his email. Uh, he's originally from uh, Mil Milwaukee, Wisconsin. God definitely sends people our way. Yes, yes. Um, and like I say, um, they believe in the end times. Got to find out about that church. Yes, yes. And he said, he said, you're welcome to come. And he's and he said, are you going to preach? My, my, my. Oh, what's his email? Good question. Okay, email is, it's small letters, S-E-L-A-H-5121 at yahoo.com. That's his email address. That's his email address. I'll, I'll, okay, his name is Prophet Elijah Jones Sr., Founder and Pastor, General Overseer, Resurrection International Ministries. International Ministries. My, my, my. And it's called The Power of the Cross. The Power of the Cross. Oh, my. Even the title, The Power of the Cross. I will email him in a few minutes. Thumbs up, Michael. Thumbs up. Tell him who you are. That you're my... I didn't get... I told him that I do YouTube videos, but I didn't get a chance to say anything else. I mean, we were talking about all kinds of stuff there for a few minutes. We were talking about all kinds of stuff. Um, oh, my. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. But I, I told um, Ivan I was going to do my devotional 
out here at the mall. So, um, let me show you that picture one more time. You may have to zoom it out. That's the picture of him. He said he was on his way. He was going to be going to Alabama to meet his intended. And uh, he's 65. And he met her back in, in the early 2000s. And, and he says it's time to get married. He says it's time to get married. And uh, he says, yes, the Lord is coming soon. We talked about all kinds of things. Jackie, Michael, Joycey. We talked about all kinds of things. Just in that few minutes, it sounds like an opportunity for you to preach the Word of God. Yes, I've got to get started somewhere, and um, but we're still going to Tennessee. My ministry is in Tennessee. Divine Connections, yes, Joycey. Divine Connections. But how did I know he was a minister? How did I know? I mean, he was just a, a nice guy that just said hello to us. You know them. You know them. You, you, person knows you because you see Jesus in them. You see Jesus in them. And my, my, my. It's just, just amazing. Absolutely amazing. Oh. The Holy Spirit told you, hello, wake up. Yes, yes. He said, he said how did you know? I said, the Holy Spirit told me. Stepping out in faith opened a door. Yes, it did. Your discernment is growing stronger. I believe it is. But, Jackie, you were on my scope last night when we were pl praying for Matt Martins. I think you had joined then, I think. And that word of knowledge came to me that, about the pain in his right arm. And Yvette joined. I don't want to talk too awful loud. Yvette joined. Hi, Yvette. Bless your heart. I'm glad you joined. You'll have to watch the replay, too. Yeah, and it was it was his right arm. And then uh, can't... Oh, something else, too. I'm excited. Um... Last night was a night for, for healings of cancer, for cancer. Vicky, Miss Vicky, shout the name of Jesus. Yes, Jesus Christ is Lord. <laughs> yeah, hallelujah. But she, she uh, texted me, we, we were texting back and forth a little bit earlier, and she said her best friend, she just found out her best friend was healed of cancer, of cancer. What do you think of that? And I told her that last night was the night of healings, and I told her about my scope. She goes, oh, my, my, she says, praise the Lord. She said, hallelujah, hallelujah. But she was she was healed of cancer. I don't care. It's all right. Praise God, hallelujah. <laughs> praise the Lord, hallelujah. Yippee. Oh, well, I wish somebody would block that person. Oh, I guess I can. I don't want to see somebody's back end on there. That's... Mom, you, your teeth. Yes, I know this, dear. Shh, shh, shh. I still need to get that poly grip. <laughs> Not even got it yet. <laughs> I have to laugh. I have to laugh. Hey, Joycey and Mike. Mike, she says. <laughs> anyway, try to get serious. Let's let's do the Lord's prayer, okay? Let's do the Lord's prayer. Okay, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be Thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, amen, amen. All right. <clears throat> I love her. I love you too, Jackie. This is my Jesus always. This is my devotional. All righty, we're going to read it. I'm going to read it, Jackie. Ha, ha, I know, right? Okay, what, okay, what was said about your mama, Joy, Joycey Bratt? You say you already had it marked for me? Yeah. Well, thank you. You, oh, you, well, you got it in May. Wait a minute. No, I don't. I got it in February. I'm on Periscope. Oh. <laughs> Let's see, February. You sure if I could take a little walk? Go ahead. Go right ahead and go walk. I'm going to be on here doing this for a little bit. 22nd. All right, here we go. Being serious now, and I'm going to show. I'm going to show Yvette this real quick. Yvette, I met a prophet earlier. Go back and watch the replay. But here's here he is, Prophet Elijah Jones. I met him. He stopped at the mall just to use the restroom, and I knew immediately that he was he was a minister. The Lord, the Holy Spirit, witnessed to me that he was. A minister. He's a prophet. Prophet. 
So, all right, I'm going to read the devotional. Okay. One of my names is Wonderful Counselor. I understand you far, far better than you understand yourself. So come to me with your problems and insecurities, seeking my counsel in the light of my loving presence. You can see yourself as you really are, radiantly lovely in my brilliant righteousness. Praise God. Hallelujah. Though my righteousness is perfect, you will continue to struggle with imperfections. Of course we will. Yes, we will. Yours and others, as long as you live in this world, still your standing with me is secure. Nothing in all creation can separate you from my love. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. <clears throat> a good counselor helps you recognize truth and, and live according, according to it. Actually, I was born and came into the, the world to testify to the truth. Hello. Testify to the truth. Let's see, hang on a minute. So be open and honest when you bring me your concerns. A word in season, yes. Michael keeps having to join. Also, fill your mind and heart with my word, which contains absolute truth. Praise God. Praise God. A wonderful counselor is not only extremely good at helping people, but also able to ins inspire delight or pleasure. Delight yourself in me, beloved, and I will give you the desires of your heart. Seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness, and then these things shall be added unto us. Those us that, that love the Lord. Yes, yes. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. And the, the scriptures for this. The scriptures for this, if you want, you've got, you guys want to write them down. Isaiah 9, 6. That's Isaiah 9, 6. Romans 8, 38 and 39. I'm going to read them tonight. John 18, 37. Glory be to God. Yes, yes, awesome. John 18, 37. And Psalms 37, 4. And it had to be a 37. Hallelujah to the great King. Yes, Michael. Yes, Michael. I have no, I have no doubt we're going places. We are going places. It's already started. It's because the Lord sees sees my devotion. He see He sees my love for Him. He sees that I mean it. You know that, that I'm true and sincere. He sees that. He sees that in me. He knows that I love Him with all my heart and soul. And if that church, if this, if that church is where my dad got it all started with my with, when he received it, when he got saved that night, that's the night. Get this. That's the night. I was nine years old, and that's the night when he received the baptism in the Holy Spirit. And he had his cigarettes in his pocket. And when we left the church, he took them cigarettes out, and he broke, he, he pitched them. And he never smoked another cigarette. The Holy Spirit kept my dad up all night that night, vomiting and diarrhea, cleaning him out. Yes, yes. And I've always said, Lord... When I'm delivered for good, please don't keep me up all night throwing up. Please. But yes, the Holy Spirit kept my dad up all night. He said, I'm cleaned out. I'm totally cleaned out. Yes. I remember so many things about my daddy. So many things. Speaking of dads, Jackie, how, how's your dad, hon? How is how's he, how's he doing? Sometimes we need a full cleaning out. Yes, we do. A major clean out. And the prophet told me, Holy Spirit, please clean my mama out in Jesus. No, I don't want that. I don't want that, Michael. I don't want, I want to be delivered, but I don't want that. Uh, but yeah, he, um, he told me too. He said, every time you think you want a cigarette, get your anointing oil and put some on your lips. Put some on your lips whenever you think you want to smoke. You, if you get sick, you know why. I laugh out loud. Yes, I'm sure. But yeah, we have to be. Oh, he's better, Jackie. Good, good, good. I'm glad that he's better. Was it like a just a, a, like a stomach bug of some kind, or yes, Yvette says. Was it like a stomach bug, or my last night was last night was truly amazing. Getting back to last night, it was truly amazing. On uh, Michael and Joyce's scope, and then on my hello, How are you? pretty good. 
but yeah, it was amazing. In the mighty name of Jesus, clean you out fully. Michael, dear, I don't want to be up all night. Oh, the flu. And we can't take the flu shots. I haven't had a flu shot in years. The last time you were delivered, I prayed that would make you sick, and it worked. Wow, brat. Well, well, but I didn't get sick. I didn't get sick, though. Pray for God to take away the desiring cravings. He will. Yes, yes. Because I can't be... I can't be smoking cigarettes and, and be a minister. That's what my dad always said, too, you know, and it's coming. It's coming. This time it'll be for good, and I wish my hair didn't stick out. But this time it's coming. It's coming for good because the Lord has a work for me to do. The Lord has a work for me to do. Praise God. And a and Norit's, oh, yeah, okay, you drunk. Well, hello, God bless you. Hello. Conviction is how it starts. Yes, I know. Yes, it does. Yes, it does. Let him work. I am. I am. But I will go to that church. I'm going to go. I'm going to go. He had, he invited us to come, so I'm, I'm going to go. If that's the church, if that's the church, then that's the starting. That's the starting. And, wow, that's all, that's all I can say. I gave up tobacco for Jesus. You can do it, too. Yes, I know. I, I, I gave up the beer. And I always loved my beer, especially with pizza. And that's why I don't like pizza too much, because I was, I always connected the beer with the pizza. Don't hinder it. You will be delivered if you step out in faith. Yes, dear, I know. I know. But I don't, I have had pizza. I do eat pizza. Last New Year's Eve, two, and two, two years ago on New Year's Eve, we had pizza, but we had, we had coffee. But I always liked faith and blood. Yes, yes. But I always liked beer with my pizza. And it's not a sin to have a beer, but if it puts you back, if it puts you in, in the carnal way of thinking, then yes, it is sinful. And then some people say it's okay to have a glass of wine. Well, the same holds true for that too. If it puts you back in the, in the, the carnal way of thinking, and I don't, want, I don't want the things of this world. I don't want the things of this world. No, it, no it's not. No, it's not. I know that I know that my I'm, I'm still and it causes someone to stumble yes yes if it causes you to stumble and we have to be we have to be very careful we have to be careful Jesus su supplied wine at a wedding yes he did yes he did and a, so, a doctor will say that one glass of red wine is good for the heart yes that is true that is true and I never was what much of a wine drinker though I never was I was always a beer drinker I have drank other drinks through the years but I was more of a beer drinker you know and uh, but it's all about your intentions yes that's true sweetheart that's true I'm not saying I wouldn't have a glass of wine I stumble without it I stumble without a drink yeah I'd, I've been known to do that too yes and uh, I want to tell you something else too I don't know did your did your friend Matt tell you last night that I prayed for him Michael did he tell you that I prayed a healing, a healing prayer for him. He said he was having pain. He said he was he was going to have surgery at, in the back of his neck. Wine, bread is good for certain sicknesses. Yes, and it it does say in the Bible, a little wine for the stomach. Of course, there's other there's other Bible scriptures too that says um, um, not to drink strong drink. You know, so Jesus drank wine. Jesus did drink wine. He 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 doesn't want us to be drunk. Yes, and the heart. Yes, yes. I'm sorry, but the Bible said whoever is drunk, drunk cannot enter the kingdom of heaven. Exactly. He doesn't want us to be drunk. No, that's what that's what we're all we're trying to get. What, what we're saying. He doesn't. Yes, for healing and not drunkenness. Exactly. He doesn't want us drunken. Because no one drunken will not enter the kingdom of heaven. That's very true. That's true. And I lost my train. Of th oh yeah, I was talking about your your friend uh, Matt uh, Michael. He didn't tell you about. My, my healing prayer for him it's better to abstain if it's been a problem in the past I had a problem with with alcohol as Joycey remembers beer after her dad left after her dad left even, well, even before that because of everything I'd been through through the years and I had a problem with, with, with alcohol but then after a while I haven't talked to him okay then after a while then I finally realized that nobody's going to pick me up out of the floor 
when I'm drunk. You know, there's a, it's a whole. I've got a, I've got all my testimonies on my videos, of what I went through all those years after I lost my twins and, and the whole bit, and then when her dad left. Um, you know, I've got it all on there. But anyway, getting back to your friend Matt, no towels in the wars. Uh oh. Um, I said a healing prayer. He don't want us drinking, so it is a sin because if you if you drink, you are not sober minded. It's that's it is is debatable. I mean, it's it's and it say be sober minded. Yes, it does. Yes, there should have been. It should have been. But anyway, I did say a healing prayer over your friend Matt. And um, I said that the healing will be might be slow. It might be quick. And I, I, I pray for him to be touched from the top of his head to the soles of his feet. And he said he did feel he felt something. He felt something. So. And then the cancer. The cancer. Vicky's dear friend. The cancer. And she found out that, that she was healed of the cancer. Praise God. We serve an awesome God. We serve an awesome God. Yes, we do. Yes, we do. Wow, wow. Jackie, are you going to scope tonight? At least I was able to get on your scope for a little bit last night. Let's see. We put the towels. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah, Michael froze up. There, there towards the end of the scope, he froze up, and I was very, very tired, so I went on to bed. I, I went to bed, and well, first I watched a little bit of Jackie's. I watched a little bit of her scope last night. It was, it was awesome. And then I went to bed. It was probably close to 2 o'clock in the morning before I got to bed. I've been staying up later here lately. It seems like that my time with the Lord is later at night now. And early, really early mornings. And then, of course, I have breakfast and then I go back to bed. Thank you for sharing on Twitter and inviting followers, Yvette. Thank you, sweetheart. That's the plan. Yeah. Yeah. It seems like that because I'm more relaxed and I can get really in... You know, with the Lord, presence with the Lord, too. And, but anyway, I love you all. Gloria, I scope till 5 a.m. Wow, you was on there till 5 o'clock? Oh, Jackie. Did you have to work today? My, and got up and went to work. Oh, my heavens. Jackie was up to 5 o'clock this morning on scope. My, my. I remember years ago, our scope for tonight would be good as well. We are going to live, we are going live on Facebook and Periscope both. Cool. I'll be able to tune in. I'll be able to tune in. It depends on what time you go on. You're off today, so, yeah, earlier too. Watchman hours, Jackie said. Yes, watchman hours. Maybe that's why the Lord's keeping me up later, because I'm. that's one of my shifts. Could be. Hopefully between 8 and 9, she says. It was perfect timing last night. I was just winding down to for bed when you came on. Perfect. Amen. Praise the Lord. The Lord keeps me up, sis. Yeah, and me too. And and I'll have flashes sometimes in my dreams, flashes of different things. And you know, I pray, I pray, pray about, I pray about it. You know. And well, what time is it? It's about almost five. Jack, intercessor work. Yes, yes. And I was told that I am an intercessor and a seer. Um, I don't know. I, I just all I, all I know is that the Lord had, the Lord called me to be a minister. That's all I know. And I know, like you know, it's not about titles. No, it's not about titles. But getting back to that church, I'm sleeping all night without working in my sleep. That's wonderful, Michael. The Lord signals me before you come on. Really, He signals you. Come on, and often, on often. Wow, that is cool. It's truly amazing. Yeah, it's, it's truly amazing. The Lord is really quickening. I don't. The Lord is really quickening His children. He's quickening us. He's quickening us, and there's a reason. Just like um, Prophet, um, I haven't forgot his name already. I've got the card though. But anyway, he said yes. He said, you are a true woman of God. He said, you are a woman of God. I said, well, I didn't just, he was just a nice guy that walked up and said hello and started talking about his ministries and stuff. We are all connected, Gloria. Yes, we are, Yvette. Yes, we most assuredly are. But he just started talking about his ministry and I just knew something just the Holy Spirit told me that um, he was a minister. He's preparing us. Yes, he is. We're going to have encounters. 
But that was, that was going to be my title, though, An Encounter with the Prophet. And I may, when I get ready to op uh, upload this, I'm, I may um, title it that, An Encounter with the Prophet. I am going to upload this to YouTube. I'm going to upload it to YouTube. Get, get the word out. Get the word out. And so I had a couple things with my teeth, but that's, a, that's all right, too, I guess. <laughs> I'm just me, all connected to the glorious body of Christ. Yes, you bet. All for God's kingdom. All for God's kingdom. You know, and his word never comes back void. His word never, ever comes back void. That's for sure. Amen. Well, let me do the Lord's Prayer, and then I'm going to... I've been... I drank my greens and everything, and I've had a lot to drink, so... I'm going to do the Lord's Prayer, but I had to get on here and tell you, tell you all about the prophet. What did I do with that card? Hang on just a second. If I can... I don't want to... If I do that card sometimes I have an I have a tendency to put things somewhere I've got a little bitty purse I've, I've got a small purse I call it my mall purse I'll let you see it wait a minute that's my mall my mall purse <laughs> it's my mall purse but anyway I don't know what I did with that card I stuck it down well, oh, here it is. In, it's in the devotional. It's in the devotional. Okay, I'm going to show this. I'm going to show this card one more time. You guys can zoom it out or whatever. It's Prophet Elijah Jones, Sr. He's founder, pastor, general, of overseer, Resurrection International Ministries. Um, power of the... Power of the Cross, Power of the Cross. And Michael wrote his email address down. It's S, small letters, S-E-L-A-H, 5121 at yahoo.com. Prophet Elijah Jones, Sr. And I know it's not about the title. It's not about the title. But let's, let's do the Lord's Prayer. Let's do the Lord's Prayer. Praise God, hallelujah. Praise God, hallelujah. Our Heavenly Father, which art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us each day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. But lead us not into tempt temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen and amen. And they all said, Amen. And to all my replay viewers, I love you all. To all my <clears throat> my YouTube subscribers, I love you all. We have to hold fast. Amazing, his name is Elijah. I know. I know it. Amen. We have to, to, to stay strong, stay the course, rebuke the devil, rebuke that old bird, rebuke him, and he will flee. This is what my cross like this is what my cross is all about. My Lord and my Savior Jesus Christ. These are the these are the days of Elijah. Yes. And we also must redeem the redeem the times for they are evil. Redeem the times for they are evil. Yes, these are the days. I mean we're there, folks. We are there. We are there. We're there. People perish from lack of knowledge. And God will that no man perish. He will that no man perish. All we can do is pray. Pray for people to turn their lives over to Jesus. Yes, we are, Jackie says. Turn their lives over to Jesus before it's too late. Before it's too late. And this unusual weather we're having, people. This unusual weather we're having. I mean, in the 60s and 70s, in February... What about the Bible scripture that says about when the seasons all turn into one? When the seasons turn to one. Yes, love you. Oh, thank you for the pretty roses, Yvette. Thank you for the pretty roses. But yeah, when the seasons all turn turn into one. And that's what's happening. That's what's happening. So, all right, well, I'm going to go ahead and get off of here. I'm, I'm still excited and very happy that the Lord put me in contact with him. I mean, you you could you could sense when he shook he shook my hand he shook my hand and 
I just, you know, wow, he's a minister. It just, there's going to be a lot more things happening, I'm sure. A lot, of, lot more things happening. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. We have a work to do. We have a work to do to be servants of the Lord. We have the work to do. So, all right, I'm going to get ready and get off of here. I love you all very much. May God richly bless you all. And I'll be on there later on, later on tonight, later on this evening. And I'll try to catch your scope, Jackie. I'll try to catch at least some of yours. If, if you, I know you do your midnight scopes. Praise God, Yvette says. All righty, I love you all. So, until later on, thumbs up, eyes to the sky. For we know not when our Lord will return. We know not the day or the hour. But we must be prepared. We must be ready. Okay, I love you all. Okay, good night. Or, I mean, till later on tonight. All righty, thank you for the beautiful hearts. Bye-bye, sweetheart. I love you, honey. I love you, Michael. Love you very much. Hearts for Jesus. Hearts for Jesus. Getting ready for my scope. All right, honey. I love you. I'll, I'll jump on there. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.